if you're new my name is sheena and if you're tuned in right now please hit that like and subscribe button and let's get into today's set so today's set is supposed to be my birthday set happy birthday to me my birthday was this past sunday september 5th and the video was supposed to be uploaded on my birthday uh, but things did not go as planned <laughs> so i was supposed to do my nails saturday night and i ended up crashing really early from a long work week um, and so I ended up getting up Sunday morning, the morning of my birthday and doing my nails. Um, so they didn't come out exactly how I wanted because it was kind of a rush situation. But nonetheless, here we are. <laughs> so I did do all the normal prep. I pushed back my cuticles with a cuticle pusher. Went around the cuticle with a nail drill bit to remove any dead skin. Roughed up the surface of my natural nail with a fine grit sanding band just to give the... Uh, nail a little bit of scratches and have something for the product to hold on to. I then went in with Infilia's brush on glue and their XXL coffin tips and glued those on and now you see me going in with a layer of McCart's dehydrator and then I went in with two coats of the Young Nails Protein Balm. And I'm now going in on my index with some base coat and I'm going to leave the base coat wet and apply glitters at the tip of the nail to create an ombre, glitter ombre. Um, so the glitters I'm using are a mixture. So it's a glitter, a yellow glitter from the McCart Ocean Couture Kit, and then some circle glitters that I got off of Amazon, and I just basically mixed them in um, a little pot that I had, and then I just applied them to the tip how I saw fit. And then once I got them all placed, I did go ahead and cure in a lamp for 30 seconds. So for this particular video, I would like to shout out Curly Kiki. She has an amazing channel. So if you have the time, go check my girl out. But Kiki, I just want to let you know that I do appreciate your continued love and support. So I'm basically doing the same thing for my pinky and I'm just applying that layer of base coat. I'm gonna leave it wet and then I will apply the glitters until I think that they're set how I want and then cure in the lamp as well. And then I also off camera do my thumb in the same ombre of the, with the glitters at the top. I hope everyone is having an amazing morning, afternoon, evening, or night. And I would like to take this time, as always, to thank anyone who has taken the time to watch any one of my videos. It is greatly appreciated. And watching it till the end does actually help a lot. Also, I would like to thank all of my subscribers and let you know that I do love you oh so much. So I wanted to try to use this color Morpho from the Mariposa Mayhem kit from McCart, um, but it was so sheer, like it wasn't really giving me what I wanted, um, but I ended up keeping it just on this index, um, but I went in with the second uh, coat of that poly gel to see if it made a difference. It really didn't, um, so I only did it on that one finger, but now I'm using this yellow from the Eva Rouge kit by McCart. Uh, but it just goes by a number. I'll put that on the screen. And the the yellow that I chose was a little bit lighter than I expected. But like I said, this is my birthday morning. So I didn't want to have to go back and look for a different yellow to make it a little bit more vibrant. So I just went with this. But it's a, a very pretty glittery pastel yellow. But I kind of want it like a sun yellow, like really yellow. And I had some. Um, but I thought this was going to be a little brighter than it was. I mean, it came out okay, but it wasn't the shade I was looking for. But anyways, I placed a bead of that down on my cuticle. And you saw me just go ahead and pat that up into Morpho. Um, and to kind of just blend that up. And then once I got it set, I did cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. I also repeated that same step on my pinky, but only with the yellow and then my thumb as well, making sure that I get the cuticle nice and flushed. And then I go ahead and blend that into the glitters. 
After I get it all blended, I of course secure in the lamp for 30 seconds. So on my ring and my middle finger, I go in with a full nail of that yellow poly gel. And I just make sure to start, of course, by the cuticle and make sure that is nice and flushed. And then I just pat that down the nail. Um, and then I do add a little on both fingers because it was a little bit of a thin line of poly gel. So I just wanted to make sure that everything was covered with the one bead and that um, it had an apex and everything. So I went in with just a little bit more. And I do my same method as always, making sure that I cover the entire nail, making sure my side walls are covered. And then once all of the nail is covered, I go in with my slip solution, which I use 70% alcohol and then I just smooth the entire nail out until I'm satisfied. I also then go in on the ring before curing obviously and do the same thing making sure that that nail is also set and smooth out and once I get both of the nails completely set I do go ahead and cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. So I was thankful for the three day weekend that we just had being that Labor Day just passed. Happy Labor Day to everyone as well. Um, my birthday was great. We had a very nice day. Um, I mean, the weekend was just nice, like always. We did actually cook out yesterday for Labor Day um, and everything was delicious, of course. So it was a very nice chill weekend. I'm not someone who likes to kind of party and stuff like that. I mean um never been like even when I was a lot younger that just has never been my style I'm more of a let's go out to eat to the movies we can go skating we can you know stuff like that I'm not like a clubber but I had a great weekend comment down below and let me know how your weekend went as well So once I started working with the two middle fingers and I can actually see the color of the yellow, I was not satisfied. I mean, it's not ugly. This is a very beautiful yellow, but I wanted like something, like I said, more sunny, like more brighter and vibrant. Um, so I didn't really work hard on apex for the two middle fingers. I just kind of made sure it was thick enough not to break immediately and then just went on so i just made sure it was nice and smooth and then i did go ahead and cure in the lamp for 30 seconds so next i'm going in with mccart's clear poly gel over the ombre nail so the index the pinky and the ring and i'm trying to squeeze a great amount over it to make sure that all of the glitter is getting encapsulated 
And once I get the poly gel on the nail, I do the same routine as always. I'm starting by the cuticle and making sure that that is nice and flush and thin. And then I move down towards those glitters. And once I get to that area, I do try to make sure that everything is covered, um, that the poly gel is touching the sides. And then I uh, go in with base coat on clear poly gel and make sure to smooth that out so the reasoning for using base coat instead of alcohol is because if you use alcohol sometimes it does make the clear poly gel cloudy if you use base coat the it doesn't like mess with the clearness it keeps it just the same clear as it would have been um before so that's just a tip that when you're doing clear poly gel instead of using alcohol or a slip solution i suggest using base gel so that your poly gel stays clear If you're not following me on Instagram, please do so. My Instagram handle is now Addict She, and there I do post YouTube tutorial, my new YouTube tutorial nails, as well as other nail sets I do and do not record. Also, Instagram is a great way for you to DM me with any recreations you may want to see. So then I take base coat, and I'm gonna go over my middle finger here, and I bought this pack of like sugar crystals I guess that's what you call them off of Amazon and it came with like all different colors um, and I thought that was really neat because you normally only see like white and um, like basic colors um, so I took this and I just poured it over my middle finger to give it that effect and I really like this nail it was like my favorite nail out of the set um, but I went ahead and just fully covered that um, completely and once I got it covered I did cure in the lamp for 30 seconds so like I said I was rushing it's my birthday morning I really didn't plan on doing my nails for a few hours and I normally wouldn't have done it out of the bag like this I would have used my Kiara Sky dip powder system and like poured it in the little dip powder tray and then did it that way which would have been a lot quicker and neater um, but like I said I was pretty much rushing because I didn't have nails on at all and I obviously wanted nails for my birthday um, so I just decided to take the bag and just pour it over
So then I go ahead and file shape and buff off camera and now I'm going in with these butterfly stickers from McCart's Mariposa Mayhem decal um, set. And anytime I think about the butterfly stickers, I have others, but these are the ones I always gravitate towards because I just love the shimmer in them. They're so pretty. And so I'm basically just setting a butterfly on each of my fingers. Um, I will set two on my ring finger, one towards the top left and one towards the bottom right. Um, and I just, at this point, am basically just setting my stickers. So once I get the butterfly set, I'm now going in with McCart's nail rhinestone glue. And on my my ring finger, I'm going to just place a bead of that right down that nail in between the butterflies that I have placed there. Once I get the nail rhinestone glue down, I then go over that with a layer of top coat. And once I get the top coat set, I then go in with a set of yellow rhinestones that I got off of Amazon. So there's three different sizes I'll be using for this bling design. And it's just something I randomly thought of. I might have done it before because it's a pretty simple design. Um, but I did obviously want bling on my birthday nails. And so this is the set that I came up with. And then once I got the rhinestones placed exactly how I want it, I did go ahead and cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. So I went with yellow nails because yellow is one of my favorite colors. Pink is my absolute favorite, but yellow is pretty neck and neck with it. And then I went with butterflies because I do love anything and everything having to do with butterflies as well. Um, so those two are incorporated in this set because they are things that I absolutely love. So now I'm finishing up the design with some top coat on all of the nails and for my ombre nails being that they're a little clear at the top I do go ahead and top coat underneath as well. Once I get the top coat set I do cure in the lint for 30 seconds.
And of course, lastly, I'm going in with Kiera Sky's cuticle oil and just moisturizing my cuticles. And here's my finished set. It came out pretty cute. It's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. I just feel like I wanted a more vibrant yellow. And I'm, I know y'all tired of hearing me say that, but it's true. It's a cute set, though. Um, and I had fun doing it, even though it was a rush job. Let me know what you think of my nail set down below. And if you've made it this far, please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my future sets. I want to thank you all so very much and much love to you.